When you wake up in the morning, every decision you make should be in the idea of excellence. It's not going to be. At the end of every evening, I have a chart that I go down. What, what decisions did I make? What foods did I eat for lunch? Were they excellent? No, they weren't. And now, tomorrow, what am I going to do? What action plan am I going to set to not let that happen again so that I will pursue excellence better? When I make wrong decisions or I make right decisions, I learn right wrong. So I start getting wisdom. Because wisdom to me is all that is, is the ability to know right and wrong. And to know and recognize when I make those decisions. Now here's the deal. If I don't know right from wrong, I can never really have discipline. Because discipline is knowing right from wrong and doing right. Discipline is knowing right from wrong and no one else will know you do wrong you can choose right anyway. But it allows you to develop perseverance. You're going to do right even though you don't get rewards. I'm not looking to transfer schools. I'm not looking to go to another elite club because I couldn't get plenty of time. I'm just going to do the best that I can do at this time and keep doing right. That's how it is. And so you start getting perseverance. And then when you get perseverance, you develop a positive attitude. You don't develop a negative attitude. You look all around and go, well, I'm not where I want to be because of him or anybody. And, uh, I love great Rocky quote. The cowards do that. That's not you. You realize life ain't about me. It's about what I can give back to others. It's kind of the area of my life I'm in right now. And I'm working really hard to get my ego out of the way because ego kills talent and really let other people thrive. And that's where your brotherhood comes out. Now I'm a servant leader. I'm into leadership, not just character. I'm trying to be a servant to others. And when you do all of those things and you start developing those things, you get to the final piece, which is passion. And you can live life with passion, not chase a passion. Well, baseball is my passion. You know, I'm a 50 year old with a, a, a knee replacement. I got news to you, no one's paying me to play baseball. That's how you can navigate all these things. So if I can teach that, impart that to the young people about how to go through that, that can probably encompass any issue that comes across.